2022 brought more violence and overdoses to East Tennessee. And while the year also saw a landmark change to the law of the land, a change in leadership for the police force, and we saw local people connected with a shocking event which saw politics turn to angry chaos. We're looking back at the year through the lens of crime and the courts. I could see the white of the helicopter. It must have been the bottom of it. And he was going nose first into the trees. Two events in the closing days of 2021 would echo through the year. In Sevier County, a helicopter crash. It's just even more strange because there's, you know, a huge mountain range on the other end of this road and you couldn't see it that day. It was so overcast and rainy. And a New Year's Eve fire that destroyed the Planned Parenthood clinic in Knoxville. I don't want to live in an area where, where girls and women can't get these services. Both would lead us down rabbit holes in federal court. In the deadly crash, we eventually learned the pilot was already facing charges, accused of fraud for representing himself as a certified pilot instructor. He wasn't, and he should not have been making deals to teach lessons. In fact, a judge had ordered Matthew Jones not to fly just days before his chopper went down. By year's end, Jones had pleaded guilty to fraud. This year is ending similar to how it started for Knoxville's Planned Parenthood location. In fact, in January, we reported shots were fired into the entrance of this location. Here, too, the story took us deeper, and it linked yet another crime, a shooting in the summer. The target, windows at the John H. Duncan Federal Building. Investigators quickly caught up with the suspect, Mark Reno, since he had already been under FBI surveillance. Investigators said Reno was part of a militant religious group and had been at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. <laughs> Reno died before facing trial, but that wasn't the end of his story, as revealed when prosecutors filed suit against a truck and a gun. The connection Reno had used them and the lawsuit allowed them to put into the court record what they suspected, that Reno had also shot at the Planned Parenthood building and set the clinic on fire. Now, Reno was just one of several East Tennesseans linked to that capital chaos over the year. Clifford Mateer pleaded guilty to demonstrating illegally. James Brooks also took a plea deal. President Trump asked that, that we march to the Capitol, uh, and, and so we did. Brooks said he was allowed into the Capitol and was sentenced to a year in probation. But a much more serious claim came to light in the closing weeks of 2022, this time against Edward Kelly, who had already been singled out as one of the first to break into the Senate side of the Capitol. Kelly and another man, Austin Carter, stand accused of plotting retaliation against FBI agents and the Knoxville FBI office. This is the last and final call. For Loudoun County Sheriff's badge number 904, Sergeant Chris Jenkins. Law enforcement officers and entire community faced down tragedy in February when a Loudoun County Sheriff's Sergeant was killed in the line of duty. Sergeant Chris Jenkins had stopped on I-75 to remove a ladder from the roadway when Jenkins, his cruiser, and another car were hit by a big rig which didn't stop. Among those paying tribute to a fellow officer, Jenkins' own son. I had to do everything that daddy done because I had to grow up to be like my hero. I just always wanted to make him proud. The cut of the starts at the top of the organization. Knoxville police got new leadership in 2022. Chief Paul Noel brought in from New Orleans to follow in the footsteps of Chief Eve Thomas, a 30 year veteran of the force who made history as the department's first female chief, but served just around four years in that top spot. Her term was marred by a spike in deadly shootings, including a teen killed by an officer inside Austin East High School, plus a series of internal affairs investigations. Noel came in with a mandate for change. He responded with reworking its district divides and a study of department culture, plus changing how the city handles minor traffic crashes. He also fired a veteran lieutenant and suspended a captain. Knox County voters decided to give Sheriff Tom Spangler another turn in office, rejecting the challenge from former Sheriff J.J. Jones. But law enforcement kept facing other challenges, like staffing. It puts a, a burden upon them as well, but it, it's a safety issue for our employees. More neighbors kept falling to deadly violence and overdoses. In May, District Attorney Sharm Allen noted what she called a dramatic increase. As leaders kept looking for ways to turn the tide, like bringing in Thomas Apt, a national expert on reducing violence. 2022 brought a landmark change to the law of the land as the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe versus Wade. The decades-old decision has secured a right to abortion, but the new ruling sent the issue back to the states. 
Tennessee lawmakers had prepared for that day that some never thought would happen, with laws on the books restricting abortion now unleashed. Tennessee now has a near-complete ban on abortion, stating that life begins at conception and requiring doctors to offer a legal defense in order to prove a mother's life was in danger.